Hi everyone, Ted from OC, and uh, let's see what we have today. I'm guessing this is somewhere over the rainbow. So if you're a big Wizard of Oz fan, you got the yellow brick road on here. As a Wizard of Oz, you have Dorothy with the ruby red slippers, and you have Toto. Who's this done by? Uh, the San Francisco Music Box Company, which does a lot of this stuff. A lot. I mean, they produce a lot of stuff. All right, so if you're into The Wizard of Oz, you're a collector of that, check that out, shopgoodwill.com. We have Robin Williams, Mork from Mork, Mork and Mindy. Right now, Mego 1975. Yeah, I didn't even look it up because that's how much of a nerd I am. And uh, one of my favorite action figures, so we'll be putting him up. We got a lot of vintage action figures coming at you today. We have... Aha. Vintage Star Wars. This case is a Darth Vader case. Hold on, let me shut it without... I have to go really fast, otherwise they, they move all over the place. I remember. Really didn't like the construction of this case as much. All right, got a little handheld back there. Yeah, see, now fall. But that's okay, that, that, that way you get to touch the figures again, right? You get to play with them. And that's what it's all about. And it looks like there's a... Quite a few figures in here. Is there any weapons? Oh, there's a there's a vintage Luke Skywalker hiding with his head cut off right there. So we have more action figures right here. This is a different type of case. This one's really cool because if you turn it upside down, they have these pegs on it. And you put the guys and they can stand up. Because every all the Star Wars figures had little holes in their feet. And then they would make these pegs. And so on like the spaceships and stuff like that, they'd have these little pegs or where they could stand up. That'll probably be sold as a separate deal right there. All right. Got a little Jawa with his little, with his little hat. Little uh, name tags. So the right figure would fit in the right thing. So you know which one, hey, where's the Jawa? He ran away. I don't know what happened to him, whatever. All right. Right now I'm not doing that. I'm just putting them back in here. We have Jabba the Hutt, and we have another Yoda. This Yoda is just like a, um, that's 1986, but it's not like a real action figure, but it was like something that, you know, like a novelty thing that you would buy. This one's a real action figure that moves and all that stuff. So Tuesday was May the 4th. So may the 4th be with you. All right, go after him, all right. So we have this uh, Star Wars Micro Machines. And Micro Machines came out with all these little play sets for Star Wars, and they had these uh, little mini figures, mini, mini, tiny figures that were metal. This one, all it has in it is the mini figures. But, which is really cool about these, these are sealed. They never took them out of the, they came in these little sealed packages, they never took them out. It looks like they took these guys out, but they didn't take these guys out. So again, we start at $4.99, and we'll see what happens. So now we have all this other Star Wars. We have a Star Wars, um, this is Return of the Jedi uh, in full color comic, graphic novel. We have the Star Wars storybook. We have the Empire Strikes Back, giant size comic from the 70s. I oh, hope these are great. I had all these when I was little. I read them over and over and over again. This is a Star Wars one. It's another Star Wars one. That's the same one. We got Nintendo games, Nintendo 64 in the boxes. So Perfect Dark, let's see what's in here. Those got the manuals. Once again, get in the boxes. That's what it's all about. Cause a lot of people just take the box and check it. Oh, it's still sealed. No, it's not sealed, but it looks brand new. That looks brand stinking new. Like they played it like one time. We have Gauntlet Legends, Rainbow Six, Doom 64. So Nintendo 64, Doom 64, and Star Wars uh, Racers, and Shadow of the Empire. Shadow of the Empire um, is kind of derivative off of Star Wars. It, uh, it's not canon, so you wouldn't see these in the films. They're starting to bring a lot of those characters 
from Shadows of the Empire, from the comic books into the canon. So, um, like if you watch The Mandalorian and all that, we have stamps. So we have stamps from the Apollo. So if you're a stamp collector, and sometimes we just get big, huge books of stamps and all that, and we'll put them up. I think they're gonna do this as one lot right there. And you're gonna get that with all the stamps in it. Um, be looking out for stamps. You just never know what we're gonna get. From Star Wars to Pirates of the Caribbean. Here we go. All right. Made in Spain. These are replica um, musket guns, musket pistols. Wow, look at the, look at that intricacy on there. Very nice. These just do very well. I mean, this is a great, you know, piece. This one almost has like an ivory handle on it. Really cool. It's got a lot of weight. Cause they used to, you know, when they, when they shot, they only got like one shot cause they had to take this out and they had to put it in there and then they take their shot and then they go, okay, well now I got this. <laughs> it's a done deal. Now, so they advanced it and they came out with this. Now they had a dagger with a gun on it. So they would shoot the gun and then they'd have their dagger to still fend off people. Really cool stuff. I think they're gonna go individually. You know, like this will be one, this will be one, this will be one, an auction, okay? So now we're gonna have Karina come in and show us the what she has. Hey everyone, guess what's in this box? <laughs> yeah, take a guess. We have this really heavy, really solid hawk statue. I think it's a hawk or a falcon. A bird. I tried looking it up and didn't find absolutely anything about it. So. Uh, all we can tell you is what we can see here, which is that it has this really heavy granite base. Um, the bird is probably bronze. You're thinking bronze? Yeah. Brass. Or brass. I'm thinking brass. brass. I'm thinking brass. Either way, it's very heavy. Yeah, it is very heavy. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice piece. I think we'll just put it as brass, falcon hawk, bird. <laughs> <laughs> So Nettie found these 24 karat gold ingots. I wanted to show them because we rarely get bullion. We pretty much always just get jewelry. Right, right. So it's fun when we find just, you know, the pure gold or pure silver little ingots or bars. These ones are from Credit Suisse. He's got some weight on them. They're 2.5 grams each. Nice. Yep. And they're marked 999.9. Wow. We of course still tested them both in our x-ray machine and with acid. We always double check everything, even if it is marked like this and looks very legitimate. We have to make sure. Yeah, this is nice. What in the world? <laughs> Han also found this wonderful finger brooch. It's um, also sterling silver. It has these stones along the top and some cloisonne details. Again, this one is definitely an aged piece. Might go as far as to say antique. Um, yeah. It's marked with the word silver. It's not marked 925 or sterling, which usually the oldest pieces are marked that way instead of with the numbers. Wow, that's really intricate. Yes. I looked it up and I wasn't able to figure out why. Kate, Caitlin said this looks like the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> yeah. From Thanos, but only on one finger, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So I'm not sure what the use for it is, why it's shaped so that you can stick your finger in it. If anybody knows, feel free to leave us a comment. Yeah. Card. It has like a scooper. Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. That's it for today from Goodwill of OC. And uh, we did do a, a video yesterday on the shopgoodwill.com. So you can check that out. Please like and subscribe. And remember, if you're going to shop, shopshopgoodwill.com. Bye-bye.